background. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> okay, what do we need to throw the perfect Harry Potter party? Langardia Leviosa. Should we go start shopping? Do anything else? No, it's great. Okay, let's go. So we had this idea. We know that you guys like Harry Potter. We've done a Harry Potter dorm room makeover and it did really well and you guys love it. And Harry Potter comes with a lot of DIYs. Instead of showing DIYs that you can make that are on the theme of Harry Potter, why don't we throw a whole party full of Harry Potter DIYs? How's that sound, Becky? Huh? I think first we need to send some invites. Can you drop me up an invite? A very hairy party this Friday, AK tomorrow, Hogwarts, BYO, Butterbeer. Do you have the image? Just sent it. Group message? Done. What do we need to throw the perfect Harry Potter party? Well, we know that the essentials of any good party are decor, activities, and food and drink. Let's make them Harry Potter-ified. Okay, we're back. We're done our shopping, and I think we have everything we need to complete a successful Harry Potter theme party. So let's start putting this all together. Okay, first up, we're gonna start with decor because I think that's one of the most fun parts to doing a party. And we wanna have our party have a pretty big impact right when you show up. So we wanna make an awesome entrance. We wanna do the brick wall that you gotta go through, platform nine and three quarters. So we're gonna make that out of this lovely brown tablecloth, a dollar store sponge, and some dollar store's paint. Wow, one done. Only 475 more to go. All right, catch in with you later. Okay, so to make our hanging candles, we actually collected a bunch of toilet paper tubes. We even have a paper towel tube here. And I actually found these at the thrift store. We had to supplement some with the dollar stores. And all we're gonna use is some hot glue to attach the tea lights to the top to make these look like full-on candles. Worth noting that there are fake tea lights and not real ones, so we don't burn down the party. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> we're gonna need some hot glue. Oh, I forgot it. So to make our faux candles, we're just going to use some hot glue around the top rim and put our tea light in there. And then we can just go ahead and add some drips of glue around the edges to look like melted wax. Now when you've done this to all of your pieces, you can just go ahead and take some white spray paint. Make sure that you're not covering your candle light, otherwise it's not gonna glow. Bye bye. And then give your whole thing a coat of white spray paint. Okay, so another big thing we want to do is hang up the flags at each of the houses in Harry Potter for our Harry Potter decor. So we bought half a yard of each one of the colors that matches the different houses and I'm gonna cut out flags and then we'll put the logos of the houses on them. So what I did already, such a stepped out cooking show. I already did this out of just some craft paper I cut out just like a long rectangle with a little V on the bottom, like a very easy flag shape. And I'm gonna pin this onto each one of my fabrics and cut it out using some fabric scissors and, and then we'll see what happens next. We're gonna pan across to you, Becky, ready? In real time, what's Becky up to? I'm now gonna cut out the V for my flag. The V, here we go. Here we go. Also, I switched to this because it's much sharper than my fabric scissors. Great call, Becky. Thank you, thank you, Claire. Paper that's still on that hook. Is there? <laughs> I told her it would be okay. Maybe I was wrong. I think you're wrong. Authentic. It still has toilet paper on it. No problem. 
Bye bye again. What's this for? Oh, I'm not gonna be able to hear you. To poke them back up. Langardia Leviosa. Subtitles, please, editor. Wow. The tool. <laughs> Why didn't we peel it off? Becky said it'd be fine. <laughs> I thought it would be fine. Becky always says it'll be fine. I'm an optimist. An optimist. That works too. Precision. Boom. Yeah, keep it in there to dry. Oh, okay. And when my candles are dry, I'm just going to take a large needle and some fishing line. And I'm actually just gonna put it through the top of the flame here. Since it is rubber, it goes in pretty easily. Wow. So I think tomorrow when uh, we're going to go set them all up, we're gonna put them underneath the mezzanine. That way we can actually reach the ceiling because we can't reach the ceiling up here. And that's where we can put the food too since these are in like the dining hall. <gasps> You're such a Harry Potter fan! Thank you! See, I'm not, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay at it. <laughs> okay, so I have all four of my flags cut out. This shape is so beautiful. So what I already did, or what Kelsey already did, was print out the different house logos. Um, I'm gonna link a website for you below where you can find HD files of all of these if you wanna print them out yourself for free. So my next step is just gonna be using some hot glue to attach these to the top of each of the flags. And then lastly, we need to hang them, so I'm just using a little dowel and some cord. I'm gonna use some hot glue to make a little tube on the top of the flag so I can slip the dowel in and then tie it up with some cord. So I'm gonna be working on making a Quidditch, Quidditch Pong area table. So the inspo from this, not claiming that we came up with this, we didn't come up with all of these ideas. Some are ours, some are modified. Any resources will be linked below. But for this, I have two beer bottles and a wine bottle and some dowels that I actually just had lying around. And then we have three embroidery hoops and these are gonna be our Quidditch rings. Oops, is there like goals? Are they the goals? Yeah. These are gonna be our Quidditch goals. So, to make this, um, I don't think I need this middle like inner hoop, which is good, because we can save that for some kind of future DIY project. So what's gonna happen is that we're gonna set up a standard butter beer pong, or you know the game I'm talking about, on either side with the six cups, and then we're gonna have our three rings kind of stand sitting in the middle in between the two sides. And then you can throw the golden snitch through our hoop here, or not, I don't know. It might just be a little bit more for show. We'll see how easy it is to play. I'm not really sure yet, but it's gonna look awesome, I know that. So, my first step is to actually open up my ring here, and I'm gonna drill a little hole so that I can attach my hoop right onto my dowel super easily. So easy. That was like, that took me two seconds. Give me two more seconds so I can make the other two. So my Quidditch goals are made, and now I'm gonna do is use some hot glue and attach them into my bottles here. Looks good. And then give it a coat of gold spray paint, and we're all done. All right, so it's the next day, and where are we at? We got some tea staining. Over here, Claire is, what are you doing, Claire? Spilling? I'm spilling a little tea, you know, spilling. rubbing it around. Spilling the tea for some signs that we might make. Daniela, we need all hands on deck today. Daniela's working on some Frere Rocher golden, golden snitches. snitches. Yeah. Let's go take a look at those. Are they over here? <laughs> I haven't really started them. Oh, okay, well. Not much to see here, folks. The temp, we just got the template, the golden snitches here. Love this, so exciting. Becky, what are you doing? I'm trying to find a good picture of what the nine and three quarter sign looks like. This yeah, is yeah, 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 so. Just do the smaller one? Yeah, I think just the smaller one sticking out. This one just seems a little cheesy to me. It's a bit much. And harder, and we have black foam core, we can do that. And then, what am I doing? Oh, you know what, real talk though, I'm still working on these candles. I've got a couple of them here, all stringed, but I um, need more. And these are finished, we just need to figure out how to hang them up. But first up is to get everything DIY'd, and then we will decorate, and then I think we'll work on the food stuff and getting the activity set up. 
but it's gonna come together and we have T minus um, eight hours will take us to 8 p.m. So we wanna go. Is it noon? No, it's 10. Oh. <laughs> so, so it starts. So 10 hours. Yeah. So we have T minus 10 hours to get this done, but we also kind of need nap showers and get ready time in between there because the Raptors won last night. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, the technique, you getting this? Should it be in 60? No, <laughs> This font is impossible. I mean, I think you're doing okay. Why? <laughs> Also, I just love how that was my idea to do it too, but I was like, how are you gonna put it on? And you're like, I'm gonna do this thing. And I was like, oh my god, we're the same person. Oh my god. <laughs> what platform are you at? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, this just like prints out. You're like, what am I looking at? It's pin the nose on Voldemort. You're pinning this on. Cause look at his nose! I'm done! That's clever, I right? like that. So now that we're done pretty much DIYing every single thing, it's time to get this decor up, our activity set up, and our food and drink prepped, made, to eats and consumes. So let's figure out what goes where. So I think there's a couple different areas that we need to figure out. We have our Quidditch Pong, we have our Herbology slash Terraria making center, we have our potion slash cocktail making area. Oh, we have the dining hall, aka food. Step one, what? Quidditch Pong. <laughs> My fave. How cute the moss is. Cute. Okay, so I made my little terrarium here as part of Herbology 101. Is that what they go by in Hogwarts? 101? I don't know if they have numbers. Or is it 101 and a three quarters? Okay, so we have this all set up and honestly it got real messy real quick, but I'm not even gonna clean it up because like that's part of the aesthetic, I think. So to make our terrarium today, we provided rocks for drainage. We have a little bit of vermiculite here, which was basically to help provide even more drainage and take away any moisture so that it doesn't cause root rot since activated charcoal wasn't that easy to find in our area. And then we just added some soil. Oh my God. And topped it off with some moss that I got some from the craft store. Obviously our succulents, as well as some philosopher's stones. Oh my god, they're so good! Right? Cool, love this. I hope people actually do it. I love that. If not, we all get to take home terrariums. Oh, I definitely want one. Okay, now to add the way for people to get through the brick wall. Cute? Cute. Wow! Brick door who? Wow. Maybe a little bit higher and a little bit closer to the wall. Closer to the wall. Closer to the fake platform wall. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Love that for Harry Potter. That is so cute. This is sick. Ah! Okay, but these cloaks are not so invisible right now. Ignore the visible clothes. <laughs> So also I was at the thrift store, I found these like jars, which I was like, mm, these are perfect for a potion science-y setup. Are potion science? Yes. That's a good question. So like the chemistry of the Harry Potter world. That's where I was going, okay. So um, we're gonna put some water in these and then just add food coloring. Of course you could always go the natural dye route if you have beets on hand. Just don't happen to have any at the office today. Imagine just like chunks of beets in here. Gross. Cool, brown, love that for us. You belong in Ravenclaw. It 
always says that. When was Gryffindor? I oh, got was? Slytherin. Oh, really? Yeah. You're oh my god. Close. Maybe it always says that because I'm Ravenclaw. It literally knows you. Wow. Wow. Okay, anyways. We have our entire office set up and ready to go. And it's looking so good. But I feel like, imagine this in the eve with all the candles glowing. Yeah. So we should go home, take a quick pre-party nap, and then come back and really turn this place into some true magic. Yeah, I see what you did there. Okay. Okay, see you. Okay, bye. Okay, we're back in the office and we have a couple things to do before we, people can arrive. First up, we need to make some drinks. So, we will link below the recipes, but today we're making gilly water and liquid luck. Wow. Oh my god, I spelled it wrong. At least I caught it now. So, we're gonna make some liquid luck. Oh. Wow, fancy. In addition to all the other food and drinks that we're whipping up, we're also making some butter beer. We're making them in these super cute little beer shot glasses because it is really sweet. We will make sure to link the recipe on our blog, which will be in the description below. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, setup is complete, so let's see how it all looks together. Thank you guys for tuning in to our episode where we make our loft into Hogwarts. Um, it was a really fun party <laughs> and I hope that any of these DIYs help you if you're planning anything Harry Potter themed. Yeah, and if we should do any other themed parties and figure out DIYs for them, let us know below. Um, but while I have your attention, I wanna give Alex a huge shout out for rocking our nervous lap tea. Yes, we are still selling these. Yes, we are still obsessed and in love with them because they are so cute. So check out the link below to get yours. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you love it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.